works, but yeah. uh, neither of those two are present today. Nope. So Austin goes down to Lima. Yep, and yep. Uh, I mean, obviously they've been tearing it up. We already know that Austin is sort of a doubles god. <laughs> yeah, and, crazy uh, good. Bayonetta is a godly doubles character along with Cloud. Absolutely, yeah. Definitely agree with you on that one. Okay, but right now they're getting hit up kind of a little bit too hard this early on. Okay. Yeah, Seth won really smart coverage on the platform against Lima, not letting him back on. Yeah. Lima forced to recover to the ledge and say, I will abandon this. Yeah, I like Lima's tag. It's just free in all caps. <laughs> he knows. He, he uh, is sending a message to all the fans at home uh, and to everybody who's playing against and everyone who sees who he's playing against. Okay, Lima. Nothing flashy. Gets the no. neutral air. Yeah. Watch the oh, Wow, no the stage spike. That's the kind of thing that we see from Lima. His on-stage skill and his punish game are absolutely incredible, yeah. but he struggles with some of the fundamentals of the game, including movement and teching, of all things. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, surprisingly for a Bayonetta character, he, or Bayonetta player, he's not the greatest at offstage. Definitely one thing he needs to work on, but like I was saying, his ground game was excellent just then. You can yeah. see it right there, covering the recovery. Munchable is sort of saving Cephalon uh -oh. there, but Cephalon will be dead. <laughs> yeah. No with chance to save. No way. Yeah. No <laughs> chance to save with Lunchables on the opposite side on stage. Mm -hmm. And now, Lima. Oh, okay. Lima no dropping jump. down. Cephalon going for the save, but unable to get it. All right. Lunchables down another stock. It's three stocks to five right now. It's going to look real bad for these two flaming swordsmen. Wow, we'll somehow Austin managed it. to get a jab reset and all of that. Yeah, that's crazy. Austin, like you were saying, doubles God. Oh! I'll okay. be not going to kill no, this, no, not Rich. Yet. Wow, the PK fire going through that up smash. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Okay, another Austin. one, but wow. hits a bat. Oh, Ooh. down smash. So Lunchables went for that down air to try to catch Lima once again, but unfortunately and for him, skills. it was a sour <laughs> spot. Texco coming out awesome with that uh, back air, or the back throw, rather. And up throw on the platform will absolutely do it. Yeah. Austin Bye. stuck off stage at 164. Ooh. The counter missing, uh -oh. fortunately for oh. him. He would have been super dead. But the SD, it's going to be down to Lunchables versus four blue team stocks. Well, this is looking rough for these two. Um, <laughs> and he just taunts. Knowing, knowing it's over, he decides to throw out a taunt. That's a little better than just <laughs> running off SD. Yeah. I think, I think that's way better. I would say so. Blue team didn't even take the chance to try to get like a cool team coming. They just said and batted. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't want to risk anything weird coming out of Roy after that taunt. They just immediately went ahead and just ended the game quick and easy, painless yeah. kinda. I mean, you got in the face of the bat, so not that painless, but. Oh, Lima. So, <laughs> yeah, one zero <laughs> for the blue team here. Yeah, I'm thinking again. They probably banned tri platforms. Ooh. But it seems like maybe they haven't. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Ness is really good on Battlefield. Uh, definitely, or at least Austin really likes the stage. I think I think the big difference, I mean, Austin likes the stage, and it's obviously very good for Bayonetta. Yeah. But from the Arcadian, we've seen how much this Sethlon Lunchables team loves to try platform stages. Absolutely. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go to Dreamland, but it looks like they probably yeah, no, banned the tri platform stages. Mm -hmm. And okay. we're going to Town and City. Town and City. That makes sense. Uh, Ben is going to carry you off the top a lot easier, a lot faster, but Roy has so many kills off the top. Up throw, up smash, up B off the stage. So many things that Blue Team's got to try to find an answer to here. And of course, the important thing to mention is that the blast zones are smaller on the side, so yeah. it mitigates the fact that they got gimped four times in that game one. Yeah, absolutely there. But, okay. There's another guy getting caught up in Lima's combo, but it turns out it's awesome in the end. All right, the Noggin coming in. Lima tries to answer with a down, so it just gets upbeat in the face instead. <laughs> All right. Sethlon playing this game a lot better than their first game. Definitely were struggling a little bit. Maybe not used to the Bayonetta and Nest, com or Nest combo coming out. So here's where we can see the difference between these two teams. Yeah. The thing that the green team likes to do is to knock one person off stage and then capitalize on the 2v1 on stage. Mm -hmm. but oh, the that thing double is counter! Not gonna kill either. The thing is, is that the blue team will not do that. When they have one person off stage, they will chase them rapidly off stage to get the edge guard. We saw Austin do it, and we saw Lima pay for it. I mean, they're down two stocks as yeah. a team. They got double up beat. Um, 
I don't know if you saw that, but both Lunchables and Cephalon both hit an up B, but back is going to take the first stock off the screen team. Ah, awesome. uh, this should do it. No, Lima oh. missing the neutral air. Man, that's that's kind of something new we see from Lima, him missing neutral air. That's definitely something he likes to hit, <laughs> obviously. But Really we'll good edge guarding tool. Yeah, we'll see if he, could, uh, if he can clean it up for the rest of this game or this set. Okay, another back throw. Right. Wow. Stefan with a really good custom Roy combo there. Mm -hmm. yeah, Austin awesome. got him on stage, and here you're going to see it again. Instead of Ooh. going to help his teammate get that combo, he's going to try to keep the green team off the stage. Yeah, that's the big difference we see between these teams. You were, you were talking oh. about that earlier, but... When we talk oh about that dog man... Was that three a double uppers. or a triple? That was a triple. Hello. <laughs> that was a number three at Sonic Drive-In. And Lima finishing it off with an up smash. Yeah, that's okay. Definitely, uh, that wish time, definitely need for an up smash off that top platform. Wait, may as well. Oh, and okay. good DI. Good yeah. DI by Lunchables. Mm -hmm. Down throw from Cephalon going to lead not into the kill. I lied. Back, back air is going to do it, though, from Austin. Oh, and that will be it. Wow. It will once again be Lunchables versus the blue team, but this time three stocks to make up instead of four, and Lima uh -huh. going for the captain, Zach. Yep. This is this is not something new from Lima. Definitely likes to throw out those taunts and then tries to embarrass you on stream. Yep. Uh, that's kind of what he does. Hence oh, the, the tag the full three. down air. Witch time it. Oh. Just for the heck of it. Witch time it. Oh, oh. Okay. So that will do it. Austin and Lima 2-0 over Seth Lon Lunchables, and they will yeah. be moving on to winner's finals. Yeah, definitely say that uh, Definitely say that Austin Lima is the favorite to win this tournament. For doubles, at least, rather. Uh, definitely the favorites. Mm -hmm.